Hi guys, welcome uh, to Lightme Studio. Today I want to show you how to create a floor planner using 3ds Max and V-Ray on Photoshop and also Archicad. So I uh, so I was uh, searching of a reference on the internet and I found this one. So this is uh, just a small house. We have here a bedroom in the living room in the kitchen and also a bedroom, a bedroom in the another bedroom in the hall is just the enter in the windows and the walls so the first thing to do is to create the plan using Ashika so this is a an image a reference image we will work on it so our change our challenge in this tutorial is to achieve this level so I have a reference image here Max project so we will work to create first thing the plan on Archicad and the walls and the windows and the slab and all the structural stuff okay then we will import the model from Archicad export the model from Archicad and we will import it on the 3ds max and we will add the texture in the other object and we will use the render engine V-Ray then we will render our final image and we will make it better with Photoshop so we will start so I open Archicad I work on Archicad 19 so the first thing to do is I have one floor planner so I need to go and delete the second story in the third story this is the first thing to do then you need to go to the option project ref preference working unit so I want to work with meters so I check meters and I use two decimal meters also and they use two decimal and for the quotation I use also for the dimension I use also the meters but with two decimal this is the first thing to do then I want to import our reference in Archicad so file external content plus external drawing so I want to go to folder so, tutorial floor plan so this is my reference so when I put my reference on the floor I need first to adjust it so here I have the walls of 20 centimeters so I will go to, I will go to I will hit control Q select the reference and hit control Q and I will set define define graphically they will just try to adjust this reference to the same issue. Zero short. So this is good. Now I will start by creating the slab. So we create a slab like like that. Minus. I hit slab. Like that. Okay. And I will create the walls. So I go to the walls. Wall default setting. Generic structural. Zero. Twenty meters. Centimeter. So 12 centimeters, I will start creating the wall. The outside wall first. Like that. 
and I uh, so if I want to see my reference I need to make the wall transparent so I select all the wall I hit the wall they select all the wall and I go to floor plan and section and I go to the cut line pin I go to override coach fill pen I select both and I go to the first one and make it invisible transparent the second one I make it invisible so I can in order to see our refer my reference so for the interior wall I just uh, I will use uh, 10 I think 10 centimeters it's a night for the interior walls so I go to the wall, check the wall, and I use 0, 10 meters, so centimeter is four. I go here to do reference line location and I will change it to the right. I need the first wall. And this is first wall for the bedroom in the living area and I have the second wall here I have the other one here the wall for the closest the wall for the second shape So, like you see now, I just finished creating the wall. So, the next thing to do is to create the windows. So, I go to, to the windows and I want to select the windows with two sides. This is the blue windows. And I will hit on OK. This is the first windows. This is the second windows. For this windows, I need to make it a little bit small. This bit. If I want to copy the property of an object, I can hit Alt and select the windows. Second one. Four, five, six, and seven, and eight. Now I finish creating the windows and I want to create the door. So I think 80 centimeters there in order to for the door.
to make the door open it by uh, 45 degree I can check the door and control A go to the setting and go to the floor plan and section hang go to hang hang go to the hang door setting and go to opening type and angle so to read under three the opening angle I want to check push five degree and now I can switch to 3d to see my model so like you see now this is my model I just finish create my model under Archicad so like you see here there is I have the window the door here and I have the windows here but if uh, you want to change the door from the glass to the wood you can check the door and select all the door Control I and go under the door and you can go to the sash chip side light and just select agreed like solid plan this is for to enter but for this, the other doors you need to do the same thing just uncheck the enter door and go to the door leaf and select you can select uh, there is a lot of uh, type here the door you can select one style orange okay like you see here all the door is changed from the grass to the and the last thing to do now to just finish with Archicad is to go to the file, save eyes, 3D studio file and just you can save it on your folder, on your working folder, save element type surface I just uh, used to work with element type surface because he just make all uh, just uh, let uh, each object on his same materials so for the set drawing unit I have for one meter I have one mil millimeters I hit ok if I go to the folder now I can find my 3d file so this is my file I can name it 3d model thank you for watching this is the first part of our uh, city and I wish share with you the second part where we will work with 3ds max so we will import the model and create the materials and just add the other object like the bed and the the curtain and all this the furniture thank you for watching please leave a comment and subscribe to our channel thank you